Hi friends, it's Miss Rachel. We're back today to make, using toilet paper rolls, binoculars, so we can do our bird watching today. Or you can make, if you have a toilet paper roll, we can do binoculars out of uh, toilet paper rolls, or if you have a paper towel roll, I'm sorry, paper towel roll, you can cut it in half and make binoculars, or you can make a telescope. So, to do the telescope, you really just need to take the paper towel roll and what you're gonna need is a box of crayons, a pencil, some tape. I'm using dental floss because I had no yarn at my house, so we're gonna use dental floss. And, and this just goes to show you, you can use anything you have around your house, and some scissors. So, in order to make the telescope, you just need to leave your paper towel roll whole. You can take some crayons. You can color all over your paper towel roll. If I wanted to, I could do lines around my paper towel roll. Like I said, color it in. Make it all different colors. I could do it rainbow all the way down the side. Color it in, and there you go. You got your telescope. You don't need to really do much except for color it, decorate it, take it out, and go bird watching. Or if you want to make your binoculars, you take two paper towel rolls. I'm sorry, two toilet paper rolls. Keep getting that mixed up. You can color your toilet paper rolls. Color them any color you want. I'm just going to do this real quick. Color them in any color you want. And then after you're done coloring them, you can write your name on them. colored in one I think you get the the gist you can always color in the other one but so then when you're done coloring them both in you can take it them you're gonna take a long piece of tape lay the paper towel rolls on their side and tape them together like so another long piece of tape Go around just like so. Do it a couple times. You have some packing tape. Packing tape works really good too. You can get them nice and tight. last piece on all right so I taped them together like so you can look through them hello and what I'm gonna do with the pencil is I'm gonna take the pencil and I'm going to make a hole now if the pencil doesn't work you can always use the top of the pen and I'm gonna make a hole in the top of each of my Paper towel rolls. If you have a um, hole puncher, that works good too. You can always use the tip of a fork. So I'm going to make a hole. One, two. So if you see really close, you can see my holes that I made. And then what I'm going to do is take a piece of dental floss. You need a really long piece. We're gonna thread it through. The nice thing about making these holes is that they're kind of, you can make it actually a little bigger, which makes sense. And then you'll be able to tie your dental floss on. And 
one side. You might not need it. You might not need it so long. So Rachel did mine a little longer than I probably needed. Up it down a little bit. We'll do the other side. Make that hole a little bit bigger. Alrighty, let's try that now. The nice thing about using dental floss is kind of easier to thread through because it's stiffer for the kids to be able to work on their lacing skills. And then, there you go. We have them all tied up. They can wear them around their neck. I guess Miss Rachel shouldn't have cut her so small, but you get the gist. It'll fit around the child's neck. And they can look right through them and they can use these for their bird watching. If you have regular binoculars, you're welcome to use those too. But this is just kind of a nice alternative. Um, I know regular binoculars can get really expensive. So if the kids drop these or do anything to them, no loss, they're free. So have a great time. I hope you have a great time bird watching. Bye.